Is this going to be an active hurricane season? In my personal opinion, I do expect it to be above average, and I'm going to tell you why. Let's start off by taking a look at NOAA's 2025 Atlantic hurricane season outlook. NOAA, if you don't know, is the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. They're given this season a 60% chance to be above average. There are a lot of things we look at when trying to project how active our hurricane season is going to be. And one of the most, if not the most important parts, is water temperatures. We break down our ENSO, or El Nino Southern Oscillation regions, into four parts along the equatorial Pacific. We have one and two out here in the eastern Pacific, and then we have three and four out here in the central Pacific. Believe it or not, small ocean temperature changes in this region can really affect what our hurricane season looks like over in the Atlantic. Roughly this area here is called our Nino 3.4 region, and that is just because it is between the three and the four. You can see we have slightly above average water, slightly below average water, and then about average water in between. So why do the ocean temperatures here matter? Well, when you have warmer water in the central to eastern Pacific, you typically have more convection and a stronger jet stream that wants to hold to the south. What that can help do is bring a lot of wind shear out into the Atlantic especially over the Gulf and the Caribbean. Of course, hurricanes don't like wind shear. It can easily tear them apart and keep them from developing. But when these waters are cooler, you'll typically have a jet stream that may stay a little bit farther to the north. And without all that convection out here in the eastern Pacific, it's easier for these tropical cyclones to move through the western Atlantic and develop out in this region as well. We're in an Enzo neutral, which is very unpredictable. Although we have seen a lot of our strongest hurricane seasons in Enzo neutral and weak La Nina. Over here in the Atlantic, above average water temperature would also signal a more active season. You can see in the western Atlantic, Caribbean, Caribbean and Gulf, these waters are well above average. But out here in the Eastern Atlantic, we're well below average. So we may be waiting a little bit longer to see these tropical waves that are moving off the coast of Africa form into tropical cyclones. You typically want these waters to be at least above 74 degrees Fahrenheit for tropical development. And a lot of people would say 80 is when you really start to see them forming. These ocean temperature anomalies would suggest that we could have an earlier season out here in the Western Atlantic, including the Gulf and Caribbean. So we'll have to keep our eye on what's going on close to home. Another very important thing to take into account is the placement of our Bermuda High. The Bermuda High is a seasonal high pressure that typically sets up somewhere over the Atlantic. Early hurricane season, this is expected to set up a little farther out east. What this can help to do, especially with these tropical waves coming off the African coast, is help to steer these storms up into the North Atlantic, which is great for everyone in the Western Atlantic because it really lowers our chances of seeing land falling storms. But as we get into mid to late hurricane season, they do expect the Bermuda High to shift back west. And this will do the opposite. Storms will not turn off into the North Atlantic. Instead, they'll typically steer more towards the states or Western Atlantic. This setup with an Enzo neutral and very warm waters in the Western Atlantic, Gulf and Caribbean is what can cause a lot of strong landfalling hurricanes. And putting all this together, in my opinion, is why I do think there's a good chance we have an above average hurricane season. Again, it's not a perfect science. There's so many variables you have to take into account. But with the data that's available, I think Noah's making a pretty good assumption for this hurricane season. All right, I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you like this type of content, feel free to throw me a follower sub. I make posts like this every day and I try to stream every day as well. All right, I'll see you in the next video.